Hello neighbors, Stephen here with eTrailer.com. Folks, today we're going to be talking about the ADCO SFS AquaShield trailer cover specifically for gooseneck horse trailers. Now folks, I want to start off with throwing an image up of the screen of what this looks like when it's installed, in use, and also give you the four different options on this particular one as far as length. We have from 24 and a half feet, 28 and a half, 31 and a half, and 34 and a half foot long. The only difference is the part number. So if you need a specific length, I went ahead and put all four of them on this video. Make sure you're getting the right part number to match the correct length you need. Now, how do you select the length? Well, when you select the length of a correct storage cover for a gooseneck horse trailer, you wanna measure the longest two points. So top left corner to the far top right corner would be the longest part of a horse trailer, obviously, because the bottom part, you get the gooseneck and that part is, you know, nothing there. So measure the top longest part, that's what you wanna use. And as you can see from this image, you have the whole thing covered. And then on the bottom image there on the left bottom, you can roll up a, uh, a zipper panel on the side and rear uh, as well. So the very, very far rear also can zip up and has a panel as well. So getting into it, I've got this opened up obviously. I did remove it from this storage bag. So I wanna point that off, number one, they give you this included storage bag. It is the same fabric as the uh, cover. It has a cinch rope built in. They also include this rope as well to help with uh, covering it and tying stuff down tight. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, how you would get this back in the bag is beyond me. I think if you had two people and you really worked at it really nice and tight and wound it up uh, precise, you could probably get it back in this bag. But as you can see, when I unrolled it and kind of rolled it back up real quick here inside my small area, uh, it didn't get that small. So I just wanna point that out. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these out of the way here real quick. So getting into it, let's take a look at the fabric itself. This cover will shield the gooseneck horse trailer from rain and snow during short term stores. So I want to point that out. A lot of people have had these and they say, hey, it didn't even last, you know, a couple years at max. Uh, and just again, it's made for short term cover, short term storage. So if you're in a high heat, high desert, maybe area, that kind of stuff, or heavy, heavy snow, heavy rains all the time, having this outside long term, that's not really what this is designed for. So just putting that up there up front. Now it will lessen the need for frequent washing, waxing, or even roof treatments just by having this, this cover over it itself. It can extend the life of the trailer and help maintain your resale value. It is weather resistant. It's made from a three ply SFS aqua shield on the top panel that eliminate the interior buildup of mold and mildew. So again, it can breathe and stuff like it needs to. Keep in mind that top panel is the one that gives you that aqua shed extra protection. It's also gonna block sunlight uh, that can cause cracking and fading on your roofing. Uh, it's gonna beat up water on contact to prevent water from pooling or freezing on top of the trailer as well. It is and does have a triple ply polypropylene side panel on it to prevent your trailer from getting dirty, stained and or scratched. So I wanna try to zoom in on this fabric real quick from the top down. So this is the inside view and just keep in mind the camera lighting and where we're at doesn't do it justice. This is actually probably a little lighter than what you're seeing on the uh, camera right now. Here's the exterior. You can see it's kind of like a, I'm not gonna call it a webbing material, but it is almost translucent to a, to, a, to a point. So again, water and stuff, it does have to breathe. So I don't know if you can see my hand through there or not, but visually, you know, here in person, I can barely see my hand through there. But again, it has to be able to breathe. So that's, that's what you want. Now it does have uh, reinforced elastic hems that stretch over the corners of the trailer to give you a snug look. Uh, bear with me while I try to find some of that. So I won't be able to unzip it for you, but you can kind of see the zipper here uh, as far as the zipper. And then here's one uh, option of one of those corners I was talking about. You've got some strapping here, some webbing, and then it's been reinforced for that corner to help hold it down. Now I've got it inside out. Obviously it would go over the corner and then this would come down uh, to another tie off point or to each other, you know, and then make it tight. Now those buckles are weighted strap buckles under the trailer to help secure it, help prevent it from flapping in the wind and damaging your trailer. And as I mentioned, the zipper panels I just showed you there on the rear and the passenger side to give you easy access inside the trailer when the cover's on it. 
So again, nice gray color. If you notice, I'm gonna throw that image back on the screen real quick. Whenever it's on, if you look at the front where the gooseneck is, it's not necessarily gonna cover all the gooseneck from up underneath. So it's not a 100% cover. And same thing with the bottom. It's not going under the trailer, obviously. It's gonna go down pretty much close to the ground as possible. And then when you get those straps and connect them all together and cinch everything up snug, it's gonna you know, hold itself off the ground and also wrap around the gooseneck as much as possible. So again, four different part numbers, four different lengths. This is the ADCO SS, SFS Aquashed trailer cover for the gooseneck horse trailers. Folks, not much more to go over today. Again, I'm Steven. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this quick look gives you a little better insight of what the fabric looks like. And again, just how big and bulky it kind of is. Again, I don't know if you can get it back in that bag too easy by yourself, but uh, most people that have uh, horse trailers probably have space in the barn maybe or, or another place they could put it if you can't get it back in there. Uh, again, I'm Steven. Thanks so much for your time, folks. Stay safe out there when you're towing your horses.